out in Bayonne today doing preliminary work for Spectra Energy's 20-mile natural gas pipeline. It will wind through parts of Bayonne, Jersey City, and offshore Hoboken. Critics say this route is too close to highly populated areas. It's running through very important areas, schools, parks, hospitals. So for reasons of public safety and also for reasons for the economic future, economic viability of our city, we're going to continue our opposition. To highlight safety concerns, the mayor's office released this video several months ago showing the deadly results of natural gas explosions that have occurred in recent years. Other opponents continue to fight the $1 billion project, despite the fact it has been approved by FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. We think that this pipeline is very dangerous in terms of safety. All you have to do is look at the San Bruno disaster outside of San Francisco. Spectra Energy spokesperson initially agreed to do an on-camera interview, but later declined, asking to wait a few weeks until the project has progressed further. Mary Lee Hanley issued this statement saying, the project followed a diligent multi-year review by FERC, as well as state officials in both New York and New Jersey. And she adds that Spectra Energy will maintain a rigorous oversight program to ensure that the pipeline is one of the safest. And that's all good. It's better than their original plan, but it still doesn't remove the... Uh, the, the basic big-time problem, and that is public safety. But Spectra claims it has listened to these and other concerns. As proof, the company's website highlights several changes that have been made to enhance safety. Among them, the 30-inch pipe will be patrolled seven days a week, and the pipe's wall will be thicker in some areas, exceeding federal regulations. The company website also notes that drilling techniques will be used to minimize construction impacts and Spectra touts many benefits of the project, such as the reduction of energy costs, the elimination of 6 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year, and the creation of thousands of jobs. Mary Lee Hanley, the spokesman for Spectra Energy, said off camera that she could not guarantee that even one job would go to anybody in Jersey City. Mayor Healy and Dale Hartman of No Gas Pipeline say they have petitioned FERC to reconsider its approval of this project, and if necessary, they plan to go to court to try to stop it. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Jersey City.